Okay, welcome. I'm gonna give you a studio tour here. It's a studio room in my house that is dedicated to animation and all the things, the creative things that I do. Uh, it's where I create all of my videos, it's where I work. I've been in the game for about 10 years now, so all this stuff is things that I've accumulated over those 10 years of making animations. So come on in and I'll show you. I guess we're gonna just work our way around the room. I'll show you, I'll talk about the different things in this room, the different desks that we've got. Starting off, we've got this desk here. This is by far the messiest desk, and I know this is gonna upset a lot of people seeing a desk this messy with the cable management, but this is a charging station desk. It's organized chaos. And I've always wanted to have this, a plug board on the desk so that I don't have to go down onto the floor to plug things in because I'm always charging batteries, charging earphones, a lot of camera batteries for the YouTube videos, phone, charger, lights, all sorts of things. So it's all there where I need it. We've got the Pioneer DJ deck as well, present from my older brother. So I've been wanting to get into DJing for, for quite a long time now. So now I can do that. Excuse the light here, it's very bright light, but it's just to illuminate the space a little bit more for the camera. Behind the light, we have a sink. <laughs> and it's kind of a pointless sink, but I do use it to refill water. It's a bit dodgy because it's next to all the electronics, but I'm very careful with it. It's actually kind of useful. The thing that I've been wanting to show a lot is the desks. And these are new desks that were supplied to me by FlexiSpot. So I'm very grateful to FlexiSpot. The link to these desks is in the description and you can go and check them out. They've got some really good desks, really well-made desks. I'm just gonna press this and I'll press this. I have programmed them to go to the same elevation, which is 108 for me. And this is perfect height for me standing up so that I can work standing or sitting. This desk here is my kind of secondary desk. If I want to bring someone in to do some work, they can work here. Right now it's just got my laptop here and some speakers. I take my laptop with me to the cafe and work at the cafe sometimes. Underneath it, I've got this box and there is an XP Pen tablet in there that was sent to me, supplied by XP Pen. It's a 4K tablet and for now, I just really like the box. The packaging is quite a lovely design. If I take my laptop off of there for one second, I've got a light box with a peg bar. So I'm planning to get back into traditional animation. I'm gonna have it set up here, just like in the old days. I love traditional animation and I wanna do more of it. Uh, sound boards that we have. So basically this is two things in one to me. I think it's a really beautiful piece of design with these different pieces of wood. It's custom built. Um, someone's made this by hand. I bought it on Etsy. I love the design of it. I love the colors and everything, but it also deadens the sound a little bit, which as you can probably hear in this room, I need things like this to cover the walls. If you look up here at the skylight, it's getting dark now, so you won't be able to see a lot of light coming through, but we've got some soundproofing boards up just to help so that the sound doesn't bounce around too much. On this wall here, can you see this? This is a poster for Spirited Away, but it's a kind of a special poster because it's for the Chinese release. So it's Chinese artistry for a Japanese film. And I just really like where the art and the cultures cross over here. I found it an interesting poster and I really like the design. So that's one that I chose to have up on this wall. Let's swing around to the main feature. We're getting, we're getting there finally. So this is where I spend most of my time and it's got pretty much everything I would need to make animations and then make YouTube videos about my animation process. We've got Yamaha monitors, Behringer audio interface, which plugs to the Yamaha monitors. We've got my XP Pen 24 Pro. I've gotten a little bit attached to this tablet. There's just something about it that I really like. It feels tactile, it's still got the buttons on the side, so that's my tablet of choice currently. Here we've got a BenQ monitor supplied by BenQ, and this is a fantastic monitor. It's 4K quality, and the color display accuracy on this is fantastic. It's got a really good color gamut, far and away the best monitor that I've worked on. 
and I'm really happy with it. It's got a little puck here that I can use to adjust the brightness and the settings. Here I've got a Razer keyboard. I'll put the exact name of this Razer keyboard on screen. And I like to have everything set to a kind of red color because that's the Animator Guild color. So for this, I've got it permanently set to this like fire ember animation. I'll do some close up B-roll of that. And that's kind of the whole theme of the desk. We've got a full mouse mat here, gaming mouse pad. Uh, Razer mouse. I really like the Razer product line. I think they're great. And here I've got a Torbox. So this was supplied to me by Torbox. So very grateful to them. It's basically got a load of different functions on there, programmable functions that help me when editing in Adobe Premiere, but also can help me with animating when I'm in TV Paint because you can program them differently depending on what animation or what software you're on. And what I really like about this, just for everyday internet browsing, is having a double scroll. The mouse wheel, the tour box, at the same time, it's very powerful scrolling. Road mic here, when I'm recording from my screen. I usually bring it down in front of the monitor like this when I'm recording, just so that it's very close to me and the sound quality is a bit better. Logitech HD webcam, you gotta have it and some Sony headphones. These are noise cancelling headphones and I'm pretty happy with them. I think the quality on these is really good. So this is a different thing to what I used to have. I've actually got my computer desktop on a cabinet now. So it's raised off the floor and it means I can actually reach the different ports on there. It's also kept off the ground so that the airflow works nicely and Something that I really like for cable management. Now, my cable management isn't perfect here, but I'm getting there. In this bottom drawer, I have tucked away all of the cables. And that's because I took the back away from this cabinet so that the plugs could go straight from the socket into the drawer. I'm gonna put this table down. There we go. And then you're gonna be able to see I've got a salt lamp here. I really like the look of this salt lamp. The colors that it costs is difficult to pick up on camera, but it just gives this really nice warm glow and just sets a nice ambient atmosphere, which is great for creating and being creative. Uh, this plant, I believe it's an Aglaonema plant. I'll just turn it around so you can get a better look at it. Uh, it's got a few leaves that are kind of dead, but I really like it. So I've got two plants here kind of in the peripheral view of where I can see them, which just uh, puts me in a good frame of mind for being creative. Now, this is a new addition and I really like this. So to speed up my process for when I need to film, when I feel like inspiration is striking, I don't wanna have to go through all the problems of having to bring a tripod in and all of that. So I've got this desk mount here and I can just swing this round like this now we've got the Canon camera here as a stand-in, but normally I'd use the Sony, which we're filming with. But essentially I can just, all from my desk seat, I can take off the lens. I've got a HD monitor here, preview monitor that I bought recently. And this is because too many times I've realized that the autofocus hasn't been focusing on my face and that I've been all blurry. And so this thing, it has a feature that allows you to see what is in focus and what is sharp and what is blurry. So that's been kind of useful. Now we've got this little wire running down it and that is the lapel mic. So the lapel mic is plugged in, ready to go. So I just attach this to my uh, hoodie or my shirt, whatever I'm wearing, and it just goes there. So it's ready to go. Uh, for the computer itself, it's a custom built Windows PC, 32 gigs of RAM, Intel i9 core processor, gets the job done. I'll put up the uh, more detailed specs on the screen, but essentially I am planning to get this replaced pretty soon. Um, in fact, I've got an MSI Creator PC that's on its way to me now. So MSI have been very generous to me. They've sent me a computer. These are some of the perks you get from having a YouTube channel and um, constantly making YouTube videos. So I need at least 32 gigs just because of all of the uh, footage that I work with. Not just animating, but also recording that footage and then editing it. On top of them, just keeping them from falling. I've got extra lenses in there. I really like the uh, Sigma lenses, especially 
Sigma Prime lenses, 30mm Prime and 16mm Prime are my favourite lenses. Thing here, that's a little spray, water spray to spray the plants. I'm not going to do it now. I always take the plants away from the electronics first before spraying them. That's a good tip for not getting electrocuted or not damaging your equipment. Uh, this door does go outside. I'll just show you. It's pretty dark by now because it is winter. It gets dark very early, but I can essentially just go um, run to the shops or whatever I like from there, not having to go through the rest of the house. Grab some fresh air, go for my midday walk, anything like that. Another lamp, I'm trying to fill the space with light. I think that that's really conducive to creativity. Now, here's another standing desk. I've put my Yamaha keyboard here. I've always wanted to learn piano and now that I've moved into here, I now have adequate desk space to actually have the keyboard. I put it right here where I can actually access it. And this is kind of how I learned guitar over the years. I just had my guitars, which are over there right now. This is my Yamaha RGX A2 electric guitar. I had my guitars really close by to my work. And when I would get stuck on an animation problem or when I would uh, hit render on a video and have to wait for it to load, I would then just pick the guitar off the wall or pick the guitar off a rack and start playing and just do that for 15 minutes or so. The plan is to do the same thing with the keyboard here and hopefully teach myself to play keyboard slider here. So this is going to have the camera on it later and we're going to use this for some b-roll footage. So the idea of this is that it's very smooth and it can just move back and forth to create these really nice parallax shots of whatever b-roll footage we're uh, shooting. Uh, so this is a kind of cloth that I bought in Barcelona and in fact I'll throw some pictures up on the screen. I actually bought this and was wearing it so I would like wrap it around myself like a nomad and so I've got a lot of fun memories attached to this and I thought I'd put it up on the wall and I'll be reminded of the fun times in Barcelona whenever I look at it. Here I've got the bookshelf. Uh, this is an art piece by a Chinese concept artist called Zi Chao Kai. And he's just a fantastic concept artist with a lot of impressive works. And I liked this one and I was able to get this printed on a canvas. Uh, a couple of awards from my films. This is the Crafter Acoustic. This is my favorite guitar in the whole world to play. And it's actually my dad's. So he uh, let me uh, hang it up in here because he recognizes that I just love to play it even more than he does. We've got a little sunset lamp here just to cast some more calming uh, orange colors, make it nice and cozy in here. And down here, we've got the bookshelf. And I actually just sorted this out, especially for this video. So you can see right here, I've got a stack of National Geographics. Actually, you can see that this is an issue of National Geographic from 1960. So this is a complete relic. You can see how worn it is, but we're going to take good care of this. And it's just fascinating to see a National Geographic issued from 1960 with all these retro, like old school photographs and they're, and they're brilliant. Look at these illustrations here of space exploration. So a real piece of history there. In addition to that, we've got books, non-fiction, fiction. I'll just name drop a few books here for you to go and research for yourself. So a big mixture of artists and, and writers. We've got animation world history books and some of my favorite illustrators, artists, movies. I've got a video on that and I'm planning to make a few more. Right, let's make a thumbnail. I hope it's given you ideas for what to include in your studio setup, perhaps your desk setup. Most of the items that I've shown are listed in the description and in the top pinned comment down below. I got a few messages after the last one of these that I did from people saying, my gosh, I could never afford these um, nice things that you have in your, in your studio. The truth is you probably will be able to acquire these things if you spend as much time in the game 
as I have, but you might be earlier on in your journey, in which case you have to start off with more a more rudimentary setup. And, and that's fine, I started off that way as well. In fact, I started on a very cheap laptop and a Wicom Bamboo, which was the cheapest tablet and the cheapest laptop I could find. Everyone starts like that and it's fine, you know. I, I was working on a Wacom Bamboo for years and making films on that. It's a matter of uh, patience and focus. It's highly likely that you're gonna get there, but people get distracted and they wanna go out with their friends instead of making videos or they wanna play the latest PS5 game instead of perfecting their keyframes. Like, if you want something badly, why are you talking about it? Just go after it. Go after it if you want it. And use every resource at your disposal to get it. Like, I, I spent years working in my bedroom. Um, and it was kind of embarrassing because, like, my bed was behind me in the back of all my videos. And I don't know, I felt kind of embarrassed about that, I guess. Um, it wasn't very professional, I suppose. And so I wanted a studio room and it took a long time for the different things in my life to fall into place to where I could actually get a studio room in the house. It took a lot of work and it took a lot of patience as well to wait and bide my time until I was able to move into this room. But I did get there. I got there eventually. So uh, set yourself on a path and stick to that path. Stop veering off the road. Stick to the path and you will reach your goal. It just takes time. For me, the studio isn't the end goal. It's an intermediate goal on my way to other bigger goals. And, and another thing is you've got to stop distracting yourself with what other people want. Because you can trick your mind into thinking that you want the same thing that other people want. Maybe your friend wants a car and like all your friends are out getting new cars and, you, and they want cars. Do you want a car? Because maybe you're tricking yourself to thinking that you need a new car or you want a new car to be like them. Uh, be honest with yourself. Do you really want a new car? But when it comes to like a new studio, I don't know, maybe you're like me and you, you care about that a lot. Like for me, it's a joy to be able to create things. And in my mind, if there's something that I can get that's gonna help me to be creative and to fulfill that creative urge, in my mind, it's worthwhile. It's a worthwhile investment. Uh, but that's just me. Um, what do you want?